Good to see you there. <laughs> Good to see you too. We were uh, trying to get in the right uh, orientation. Yeah, you you got that right. <laughs> uh, yeah, first of all, um, maybe not everyone knows you already. Um, how about you introduce yourself um, and then tell us where you are right now? Okay, I'm Tyler. Ralph. I'm Joel. Connor. And uh, we're at Glow in the Dark Studios uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. And that is the studio where you record your uh, you know your album already. Yeah. So we ask a few of our fans um, to send us questions in, and we wrote a few of them down. And the first one would be, uh, what new sound did you add to the new album, or did you add any new sound at all? Um. We're actually doing a lot of new stuff. Uh, the producer we're working with, uh, Matt McClellan, uh, here at Glow in the Dark, um, he is really a wizard at like making a lot of different types of sounds, especially with guitar pedals. But uh, I don't want to give away too many of his uh, of his uh, secrets. But uh, he's good. He's really good at working with guitar pedals, and. Uh, and running like a lot of things through them, not even just guitar. I don't know. He knows how to make these really crazy sounds, so we've been working on it a lot. And we're actually almost done um, recording the record right now, uh, but we still have like seven days left at the studio, so we're going to put a lot more time into making um, a lot of crazy sounds that aren't just uh, like guitar, bass, or drums. So uh, we have a lot of cool sounds on there. I also play a lot of... Um, like piano on on the record, and okay. uh, I think we have a friend who's going to play trumpet on it. We might have a friend who's going to play harp on it. We might have a friend who's going to play cello on it. So we definitely, we definitely have like a lot of new sounds on it, stuff that was not on uh, Dear God. So yeah, that sounds like some crazy change um, yeah. or some crazy new elements you added. Um, how about the vocals? Will they stay the same, or did you change anything there as well? Uh, still want to stick with uh, kind of harsher spoken word stuff. Uh, a little less, a, li a little less heavy, I guess. Okay. Uh, still aggressive, but um, we just recently added a new member. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here with us today. Uh, but his name's Michael McGill, and he's from, uh, he used to be in a band uh, from the UK called The Elijah, and All right. he's, uh, he's going to be doing a lot of clean singing on the album. So uh, with, with the new element of Michael and his talent there, uh, should make for a pretty diverse record. That's cool. That's cool to hear. Uh, you toured with Elijah um, on your last European tour. Um, is that where you met them? Yeah, yeah, that's where we met Michael, and uh, it was Elijah's last tour uh, as a band because they were breaking up. So we got to see their last 16 shows, which was like, a huge privilege because they're an amazing band, an amazing live band. So we got to see their last 16 shows they ever played. Um, and, uh, and we met Michael, and then the other guys in the band were going on to do, well, they have a clothing company called The Fucked Life. I'm sure you've probably seen that before. It's, a, it's at least really popular in the UK, I'm sure. Yeah, so. we, we actually just launched them in our shop. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's the guys from the <laughs> uh, they, uh, they run that, except for Michael. Um, he was a guitarist and clean singer in the Elijah, and he just wanted to keep on uh, – he wanted to keep doing music, and the other guys were, like, continuing on with that clothing company because it was really successful. Okay. So, um, so Michael kind of called us up and was like, you know – could there be a spot for me? And we talked about it for a long time, and uh, it ended up working out. We didn't even know if it was going to work out in the beginning because he's from uh, from England, from um, Shropshire. Yeah, from near Manchester. So, but uh, ended up working out. He just can't. He just flew back home. He was here in the studio, and he was uh, um, recording some parts. So it's awesome. It's a it's a privilege to have him playing with us. He's really really awesome, and he'll be on our next. Uh, tour with August Burns Red and uh, 100th, and he'll be on all the tours after that here in America and stuff, so it'll be awesome. Cool. Yeah, you, uh, you said it already. You're going on a tour with 100th and Counterparts um, yeah. starting in a few weeks, actually. Yeah. Um, are you excited for that one? Yeah, I think, I think we're really excited about that one because uh, that was a lineup, us 100th and Counterparts, um, <clears throat> was the lineup that we had here in America, and a lot of people in Europe asked for it because Hundreds and us and Counterparts have come to Europe separately, but never together in a lineup like that, and everybody had wanted to be able to go to just one show that had all of us together. So I think it's something uh, that's going to go over really well. I think all the shows should be... Uh, probably some of the best shows we've ever played in Europe because I know 100th tours were great over there and counterparts were great and ours have been really good so all together it should be pretty mental and uh, and Polar is on the tour too is really awesome we specifically asked for them um, to be the fourth band on the tour okay so I think that tour is going to go really really well so we're excited about that one should be a, a really like rare opportunity to see us all because the thing is Counterparts is from Canada, from Toronto, and 100th and us are from America, and most of the time, on a bill in Europe, you see, like, I don't know, a, Euro a European band or two European bands, and then, like, one American band, but this is, like, three international bands on one bill, which is, it's really cool. It's hard, it's hard to do because it's expensive for us to all um, fly out there since we're all international, but it makes for a good, like, rare bill that you might not see again. Cool. Yeah, you talked about you, a few support bands you played with already. I think you've played with a few more um, in your whole career already. Do you have any favorites, like personal and musically, you like to tour with? Well, the first band, well, I was going to talk about Napoleon. Someone else can talk yeah. about it. Yeah. Uh, uh, I was going to say that as yeah. well. Our first time to Europe and the UK, we, uh, we toured with a band called Napoleon, and they're some really good friends of ours now. Uh, we clicked with them instantly, and we love their music. So uh, they have have definitely like stuck in our minds as as one of our favorite bands to have toured with. Uh, definitely looking forward to doing it sometime in the future. Fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, and Napoleon are some of our best friends. Like we talk to them all the time. Yeah. They they FaceTime us, like video call us, like text us. Like they, I think we FaceTime with them with like. Ryan and like Alex and people more than like anyone else. Like they call us all the time and yeah. stuff. And we, so we definitely, I mean, we even, Ryan even came and hung out on like a big part of that other tour. Yeah, just, just rode did. along with us for a couple shows. Yeah, like some of the guys from Napoleon will come to our shows when we play in Europe and just kind of just ride along even if they're not touring. So I'm really good friends with them. I'm actually. I'm actually just wearing a Napoleon hoodie oh, right now. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> what coincidence. That's yeah, awesome. Napoleon is great. Is there any other bands? Uh, let's see. Well, we are already gave, uh, we already talked about the Elijah, but a huge mention to them. They're yeah. one of the best, like, I would, uh, yeah, yeah. I would, uh, I would see the Elijah play any day. I, well, I wish I could. I wish they weren't um, broken up, but Seeing them play those last 16 shows was a really big deal. Um, and then we have some really good friends from our, our city where we live um, in California and San Diego. Uh, there's some bands called Meyer and Lung and uh, Idle Hands. Uh, and then, of course, our friends 
cap size, um, it's kind of obvious to mention them. We just took them to, to Europe with us, and we hang out with them and tour them all the time. Uh, Daniel, the singer, um, like drives us everywhere in America, does everything with our band. Uh, we tour with them all the time, um, and he's one of my personal best friends. And, yeah, we, we took them to Europe with us on that Elijah tour, and that was awesome. Like, Daniel and Joel live, like, literally... Like Stone so several like away. several houses down from each other. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was crazy to see, and we didn't fly to Europe with them. We met them in Europe. So it was crazy to see like your friends who you live like like walking distance from. Like you meet them, and like we met them in Offenbach. Like uh, you know, I think it's east of Frankfurt. Like we yeah. just met them in Offenbach, and it was just crazy to see your friends like across the world and just like you know, meet them again. I don't know. It's really cool. Uh, so capsize is, is obviously a huge one. And then Meyer and Lung and Idle Hands. Um, the singer of Idle Hands, Johnny, just came out and sang uh, on a song that's on our record. Um, and that was really awesome. And, um, yeah, Johnny's a phenomenal singer. And uh, we're about to go on tour with them uh, in March uh, in the U.S. So, yeah, Meyer and Lung, Idle Hands, capsize, Elijah and Napoleon. Um, I think all the bands that have like supported us yeah. have been like some of our best friends. Sierra out of Australia oh, yeah. Yeah. is a fantastic uh, melodic hardcore band. And yeah, we, we became quick friends with them as well. Um, they're actually in the studio right now recording some new jams. So yeah, looking forward to that. I think if people in the UK <clears throat> are fans of Heights, I yeah. think Sierra kind of sounds like Heights. I don't know. If, if they think they sound exactly like that, but I know Heights is is uh, popular in the UK, so if people know uh, if people know Heights, you should check out Sierra from Australia. And we're about to do another tour with Sierra uh, in May. So, and then obviously, it's not support, but Hundreds and Counterparts are amazing bands to tour with. We seem to get to tour with them all the time because we just yeah. like every tour we get offered, they just like they're on it, we're on it. So, yeah, we love touring with those bands too. We've only played a couple of shows with them, but a quick shout out to uh, Statues oh, out yeah. of Perth, Australia. They're awesome as well, and I'll probably be doing a little vocal spot for them soon. <laughs> Fantastic band. Yeah, that's quite a big list of bands you like that. <laughs> um, you talked about uh, your new members already. Do you want to introduce them again, like yeah. so people know uh, that you have new people in? This is Connor Dennis. Uh, he plays drums for us. Uh, he was in a band uh, in South Florida called Sleep Patterns. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you should say hi. Uh, yeah, I just uh, – my other band that I was in before uh, met him on tour, and uh, we just kind of hit it off instantly. And, uh, and yeah, and then recently, uh, you know, they needed a new drummer, so just got back in touch, and now I'm playing for them. It's awesome, so – yeah, so Connor like flew out to California and helped us uh, like finish writing the record, and then we flew to here to Georgia, and where he like recorded everything on it, and then we we actually played a few uh, house shows here in Georgia that just randomly came up so that we could practice for the August Burns Red tour. So Connor got to play uh, those with us, and Michael when he flew in from England, he actually randomly was here for a day and. Uh, there was a house show offered, so we played it with him. So we actually have already got to play some shows all together with Michael, Connor, um, and all of us. So I, I guess I should introduce uh, Michael, too, even though we talked about it a little bit. But, yeah, Michael was the guitarist and singer of the Elijah. Right. Um, and all plays for us, and that's awesome. Uh, I wish the Elijah was still band, but I wish Sleep Pounds was still band, too. But, but I, it's, you know, it's a really... We're really blessed to have Connor and Michael in our band. Um, it's it's a really huge blessing to have. Like, I think when I saw both of them play live, it was like two <coughs> moments where all of us were like, "Wow, this person is uh, like incredibly Impressed. impressive." Yeah, like incredibly impressive to see play, and it was like an experience to watch him play. Like we would see Michael play every night. And here we'd be in the green room just hearing him sing, and we would all look at each other and be like, this is like, it's just an experience to hear him perform. And the same thing with Connor, I think. We played with Connor for one show. Our van broke down, and we are supposed to play another show with them, or maybe even more than another show, maybe yeah. another few shows. 
we're supposed to play another few shows, but our van had broken down, but they offered to to pick us up in their van and take us to the next show. Uh, and I think I remember like agreeing because I was like, yeah, like I want them to take us to the show just so I can see them play again because I wanted to see like Connor drum again because I think me and Daniel, uh, who was on the Daniel from Capsize, who was on the tour with us, we were both just like, yeah, like we want to play the show, but also we like the sh- their show was so crazy that we like we have to see it again. So we got to see them twice, and then yeah, and then uh, we ended up getting Connor once um once their van was done. So. Yeah, cool. Um, there's the next question coming in. Um, your your lyrics in your songs are they related to personal stories, or did you just make them up? Yeah, they're all about uh, my life, uh, things I go through, in my personal relationships. Um, the a lot of it is just me trying to you know, work out all my own stuff uh, through words, because that's always been my outlet uh, in how I relate to the rest of the world, my friends, my loved ones. So, yeah, it's all very, very personal to me. Okay. Um, then the next question came in. Um, that one's really simple. Are you guys straight edge? Um, I uh, actually am. Um, and, uh, Connor is too, um, but just us, okay. but not the band as a whole or anything like that. Um, yeah, you talked about the new album already. I think you don't, you mentioned you don't have a name for it yet. Do you have a release date for it though? Um, we're pretty sure it's going to be out in May. Um, it just comes down to uh, uh, if everything can be submitted on time and they can press the vinyl on time. Um, but it should be out in May. And we'll, and we'll be back in Europe. Hey, Darius, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you again. Okay. Um, but um, I, can't, I can't see your camera. Okay, I think it's reconnecting. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you now again. Okay. I can't, I can't see our preview yet, so give me a second. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, just tell me when you can see me again or you can see yourself. Okay, I can hear you. Okay. Okay, I got myself uh and you can hear us and see us? Yeah, I can hear and see you. Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, where so, did we stop? At the new album, right? We were talking about... Yeah. Um, it should be out in May, um, as long as we can get uh, the masters in and the artwork in uh, quick enough. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be playing... We'll be back in Europe uh, in June, and uh, we'll be playing all the new songs uh, at festivals and stuff like that in June. Okay, cool. Huh? Okay, the next question just got in, um, and he's asking, are you getting, are you guys full-time musicians, or do you work besides making music? Absolutely full-time. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're all full-time musicians. Uh, we tour, like, 200, 300 days a year, especially if you count recording, which has been 31 days uh, of this year so far. But, yeah, we only take maybe a month off a year, if that. So we normally end up we normally end up at about 300 days of touring. Uh, 
so yeah, we um, we're very blessed that we don't have to um, work uh, in between uh, tours, and uh, we're blessed that we have that many tours to go on. Um, and it is, you know, difficult to tour 200, 300 days a year. But if you have that opportunity to do that and you have that many tours lined up, you're really blessed as well because there's a lot of people who would want to have that many tours lined up and who would want it to be able to play that many shows a year. So just have to count it as a blessing and just go do it because it's really fun. And, uh, yeah, so thankfully we're able to do that. And, uh, um, and uh, thankfully we're able to... Um, to just keep playing shows year-round, so we hope that continues for a long time. We're really blessed to be able to play like 200, 300 shows a year, and uh, not everybody um, gets to do that, so we're really blessed to be able to do it, and uh, yeah, so we just play shows year-round, and that's just what we do. Cool. Another question is, um, how do you think social media is responsible for your success in the first place? Um, it's, a it's a, it's a pretty big deal, uh, as an opportunity to let bands, uh, who don't have a lot of money or a lot of backing or a big label or anything like that to help them out, uh, to get people, uh, to be able to find them. So basically, it's just, uh, the internet has, like, and social media has made it possible for bands that uh, make music or make good music and work really hard to be able to um, have people find them. But I mean, this has been going on since MySpace and before MySpace. Ever since the internet was like made, there was indie artists who were, um, you know, all the big metal bands like that have come today. Like I feel like a huge band uh, uh, that for Empiricon is Parkway Drive. I feel like Parkway Drive just started because, of, like, got their start MySpace. because of MySpace. Yeah, I don't think that they had help from a huge, massive label. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I think, yeah, the Internet has made it possible for smaller indie bands um, to get connections and start touring um, and just be successful. So you have yeah. to work. you have to work really hard. But uh, if you do, uh, the opportunities um, totally there. So that's what's cool. All right. Um, and I think the last question would be, uh, do you have any material you could show us from the new album? Yeah, we can definitely play some stuff. Uh, how about I'll play it here on this uh, computer. It's actually behind my laptop. So, um, yeah, we should be able know. to hear that. Yeah, you let me know uh, if you can hear it now. Either. You can hear that pretty good? Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm going to play this one. I can play some more too.
<laughs> Just where the good spot started. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this going. Hold on. Where are you? Cool. Yeah, and I'm gonna yeah. play. I'm gonna play one more clip. All right. I'm gonna open up this.
All right, play one more clip. That's just the ending of one of the songs. That's cool. Like I can hear um, the guitar sounds you talked, uh, yeah. you talked about before. But I can yeah. still hear like old being as notion, like your yeah, totally your sound in it. And then yeah. Um, yeah, it was cool to hear uh, your new clean singer. Yeah, Michael's awesome. And uh kind of even want to play one more. <laughs> Just yeah. one more. <clears throat> Less heavy? <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, I'm just gonna play this. Thinking that even after all this time, some things still do go without saying. We shake the taste of our sweet youth, and now with calloused hands, gather the remaining fruit. To go any farther, we must have been Cool to hear a few new sounds of you, a few new clips. Your drummer is asleep already. I can see that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we um, you answered all the questions. Uh, thank you for that. And um, yeah, we're all excited here in Europe to see you again in a few weeks um, on that counterparts and hundredth tour. And I think we're going to do a few more interviews there. So no reason to. Continue here anymore. Cool. <laughs> thanks, Danish. Uh, yeah, it was good to have you. Yeah, thanks for the hangout, man. Yeah. Um, I see you in um, in wherever then. Okay. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Take Bye. Care, man.